All right, my Virgos, welcome in. <laughs> He's relentless. Looking for a cookie, are ya? I don't have any cookies in my pocket. All right, Virgo, welcome in. This is for you, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I know, poor Lauren. Uh, let's see where we're going with you. What is wanting to come through? Uh, in the extended, if it is warranted uh, by the reading here, I will just see the Divine Masculine. I will pull cards for each Zodiac sign. Um, and I will say that at the end of this reading, if I'm going to do that in the extended. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Feel free to swap around the energies. As always, I could be talking to a cross watcher. Magic. Wow. Okay. Magic protection and transmute. Um, <clears throat> I just feel like some of you are stepping into a spiritual realm of your life or season of your life. I don't really think you saw this coming. Some of you are about to have a major spiritual awakening. If you're already uh, on the spiritual path or on the twin flame path, this is a new level. Okay. This is a new level and I feel like it has to do with your upper chakras. We're talking about that in my Pathfinder group and the eighth and ninth, all the way up to the 12th chakra outside of your body. Um, they have to do with your connection to the spiritual realms, um, accessing of your gifts, past life gifts, uh, the gifts that you are working on opening up, telepathy, the clairs, all of that. So I feel like some of you might be having that experience are going to be having that experience. All right, so let's see what wants to come out in the reading. What is underneath? Okay, I just, I see the death card here. There's two of cups, there's king of cups. The eight of swords, the king of pentacles. I'll show you these in a second. This five of swords, what is going on? 10 of swords and the eight of cups. So some of you um, are going to be coming into contact with a water sign, okay? A water sign or someone who already has feelings for you. Maybe this person is magic. Maybe this person brings magic into your life. Um, the king of cups and the two of cups. So there is a big change happening here. And I feel like what it ushers in because the cards that are underneath the deck, these cards that I just pulled, are all about um, what's going on either subconsciously or on a spiritual level. The Eight of Swords and the King of Pentacles, the Five of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Some of you are dealing with a very, very toxic situation. Um, and this could be an existing relationship that has moved into toxic, the toxic realm. Um... I don't think you really saw this change coming, this uh, death card and the eight of swords. I feel like, you know, this was happening while you were just out doing your work, right? Like you're out in the world doing what you think you're supposed to be doing. And it's like um, this person that you're with turns from love energy into something toxic, the five of swords and the 10 of swords, and then you walk away. Uh, I almost feel like for some of you, this might've happened a long time ago. All right. Some of you are ending a connection with a person because you're seeking love, real, true love. If something that you had, because two of cups is kind of like the early stages of love or kind of puppy love or something that you thought was love, but maybe it turned out to be, um, you know, like fool's gold almost like it wasn't um, lasting. But this person turned, this person turned your open heart into something that they stuck a shiv in. Hmm. All right. So you're showing up as the judgment card, which is like, I'm trying to decide what to do about this. You're still the king of pentacles here. And I feel like you still do have the ability to love, but you know, eight of swords, five of swords and 10 of swords. It's like, oof, that's, that's a lot of toxicity. <clears throat> That's a lot of toxicity. Protection. Um, you are being protected uh, when you're changing. Okay. If you sit in something like that, you're not really protected. Um, 
because you're still open to it. But if you're not sitting in that, in that anymore and you've made a decision, this is a crossroads, you made a decision to move on, that's when I feel like the protection kicks in. Look at that, the chariot. Six of swords. I do think you have somebody uh, maybe helping you move on from this situation. Nine of swords, seven of cups, lots of confusion here. Tower, ooh, five of pentacles. Are you kidding me? Wow. Okay, so the longer you sit in this, the more potential there is for something to blow up on you. And, you know, you do, uh, you, the opportunity is to move off, is to move away from this situation. I feel like there's fear around loss of money or around loss of um, stability, loss of position, uh, loss of independence in some way. You know, like may, I'm fearing losing my money and that that means the loss of independence. So what is this tower energy here? Page of Pentacles, Hierophant, ooh, Devil card, and the Ten of Pentacles. There's definitely something here about um, uh, money, about um, being manipulated. It's possible that you have been manipulated and maybe uh, gotten into a commitment with somebody who just wanted your money. Or you're feeling like someone just wants you for your money or something like that. Uh, and I feel like this might be somebody who you are committed to or you have a, a responsibility to or an obligation to or something like that. It's feeling more and more like an obligation with every passing day. This does definitely has to do with money, the 10 of Pentacles. So I'm getting this sense of like, there's a lot of options, a lot of choices for you and it could be overwhelming. This feels overwhelming to me with that nine of swords. And so I, I, I'm getting the feeling that there's some inaction, some inertia. I do think you are going to be moving on from this eight of cups and the six of swords. Um, and the faster you go, okay, the faster you go, um, you might feel a little out of control doing that, right? Too fast and things are going to blow up in my face. <clears throat> What, what, if anything, can I do if I'm not super psyched about this five of pentacles here? What, if anything, can I do if I don't like that? Four of swords, five of wands, two of pentacles, and the sun. So what you can do is you've got to heal your relationship to the people who are, um, manipulating you. Meaning there are people that you, I feel like you care about what people think. And that's the thing that's going to get you every time. If you don't care how other people view what you're doing, whistle a happy tune. If you are solely driven or majorly driven, if you're majorly driven by perception, uh, what, what are other people seeing of me? What do they uh, expect of me? Am I liked? Am I loved? Am I what? Right? If you're trying. <laughs> Teaching Charlie to talk. That's the love you button. Love you. Oh my God. Okay. That's happened. That's happened now twice today, which is really kind of lovely. I'm just getting the feeling that you won't leave this behind until it's D-E-D. -D. Dead, dead, dead. Way past dead. Even though the other person is manipulating you, I don't feel like you want to see it. I feel like you bury your head in the sand. Um, and, you know, what does it mean to be that Ten of Swords? That's a betrayal. Okay? That's a betrayal. And I almost feel like there could be a lot of um, gossip or something, you see the five of wands here with that guy whispering in his ear. There could be a lot of gossip or a lot of um, conversation about how you're not seeing what's going on behind, right in front of your face. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it until it's 
unavoidable. Okay, this is more than the frog in boiling water. Three of cups. What's the betrayal about? Three of cups, eight of wands, lovers, and the wheel of fortune. People who are, there's the 10 of cups. Okay, so people who are pretending to be your friend actually know that there's something else going on. Um, I do feel like you are also destined and fated to move on. So however it happens, it can be that somebody tells you, uh, the, a friend tells you, like you can't not see it anymore. And, you know, I just, I just really feel like what you can do is you've got to heal your allegiance to certain people. Like what would happen if this person or these people or this group of people left your life? What would happen if they disapproved of you? What would happen? And you're not going to fall into a pile of dust, okay? Uh, I just feel like you might be a lot happier if you're not so worried about the opinion of these other people, especially if you do want to move off of a situation that's bad, okay? The Knight of Wands the Page of Swords, the High Priestess, the Ten of Cups. So we're getting the Ten of Cups a couple of times here. We're getting this a few times. And that makes me feel like you really are asking the universe for happiness. And the universe is trying to get you to wake up that there's a choice right in front of you. Okay. So we'll explore that in the extended. We'll go into it deeper. I'll take a look at what you don't see coming. Uh, any obstacles you might need to work on. And I will pull cards for each Zodiac sign. So you can uh, either look at who you might be dealing with or who you're dealing with already. We'll see how that goes. Link is below. If you want to continue on Virgo, I'll see you over there. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.